You're revealing your human side. Like I, like I don't like people. Some people just really think like this. All you do is play basketball. It's like, it's like no, actually, I, it's other stuff I like doing. It's other stuff I love doing. Like basketball is like such a small piece of who I am. Like this is one of my sides. Like I really enjoy this. You know, like or whatever. Like whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be fashion or fashion week. You would have asked me this in 2006, like, this is what's gonna happen in 13 years. I'd have been like, bullshit. Like, no way. I would, first of all, I would never see myself playing in Europe. I would have never seen myself coming back and it happening the way it happened. And I would have never seen the opportunity I've gotten through all those realms and still being able to sit here and say, playing in Europe is some of the best times of my life. Like, I would have been like, no way, like, no way, you know? So you never know, you just never know. So you just gotta have the right mindset and play as hard as you can, live as best you can. Being back in Paris, finding it's like coming back home, it's like just that feeling, just that excitement of coming back. It's nothing like the city, so every time you come back to it, it's like sparkles, you know. It's just a sexy city. Like you just just walking around, just being around, it's just the ambiance of the city. Like we came in last night, it was this moon was unbelievable, like in the backdrop. Like first night just coming in, like walk driving to the hotel, it was like wow, like right away. And it's always like that. Like you always get that kind of sparkly, shiny moments, you know, all the time, even in like regular, without doing events or anything, it's just like regular old Paris. Such an easy place to be, you know, the food is, is great, you know, even not being able to speak a lot of French, they still communicate well, so you can always get the things you want and need. Uh, amazing hotels, you know, top to bottom, whatever you want, it's right here at your disposal. Being able to come here is a sad, kind of somber moment too. You know, even though I'm enjoying my off season, you know, I'm watching somebody hold that trophy up at the same time. So, you know, I love being here, but there's no doubt about what I would rather do. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Uh, I think it's different for everybody. You know, some people don't like to do as much. Some people, you know, aren't doing as much. Some people are doing the most. I think you just kind of find your balance and what you're comfortable with and why you're here. You know, everybody's here for different reasons and what they want to do. Um, so I think uh, bigger than anything is just finding your own pace. <laughs> I just do me, honestly. I just, I do me. It doesn't matter if the cameras are there or not. I would still be doing the same thing. I've been doing the same thing my whole life, so, you know, especially being a professional. When I played in Europe, I did the same thing. Nobody here. It was through back doors <laughs> and upstairs and you know, all kind of crazy stuff over here going to some of those arenas. Uh, and I still dressed the same way and did the same thing, so. Uh, but back then, they always had jokes and crack jokes about it back then. So it's funny now. I'm just being PJ. Like, that's the number one thing. I'm just being me. Like, I'm not portraying something or acting or putting on something that I wouldn't put on every day in my life or doing anything that I wouldn't already be doing. I'm just being me through and through. So, you know, 
whatever you get from that is what, is what you get. It's what you continue to get all the time. Honestly, I go to shows that stuff I, uh, designers and uh, or people that I like wear. I don't, I don't do shows that I don't wear. You know, I, I go to shows to see what they're doing new, you know, what they got coming. You know, I, I like wearing clothes. So, I, like, I'm going literally to see what they got, and I'm taking pictures, and I'm taking note, and seeing what's going on, because uh, more than likely I'm coming to get stuff. The Bodhi show was everything. I actually wore Bodhi a couple times this year, and didn't know a whole bunch about her, and now she's easily become one of my favorites. It's the material she uses, the, you know, the fabrics, it's, it's unbelievable how she, how she put pieces together. Um, and they come together so seamlessly, it's like unbelievable. So um, that was an amazing show in an unbelievable space. Like that was, that was it. Like that show like embodied everything I love about all of this. Like, this is incredible. I'll tell them about some pieces that I've seen that I really liked. And, you know, they'll kind of explain it and, you know, uh, most times it's just saying thank you, you know, thank you for having me, thank you for letting me be here and experience this because it is a blessing and it's, and it's super cool. Yeah, now, you know, more guys getting into it, you know, it's good to see Rudy, we've known each other for a very long time, so we're good friends. Uh, and he told me a long time ago that he was planning on coming. Uh, so it was pretty, it's just cool. It's cool to see other guys getting into it a little bit. Uh, and experiencing it. You know, the NBA is a fraternity, so, you know, if I'm here and you know, maybe somebody that I'm not as close with or we don't know each other as much or as good, but, you know, we're in, you know, halfway across the world together, so it's like, yo, what are you doing? Oh, okay, I'm doing this. So, kind of come together in that sense, you know, so, um, in which I, I think it's pretty cool because, you know, they have another close associate that you, you know, weren't as close with before, but you have that common experience, so, uh, I think stuff like that's cool. I'm wearing a Dries Van Noten sweater, shirt. Uh, Dries belt, which kind of draws it all in together. And Dries pants, so I'm all Dries up top. And these Dolce Gabbana sneakers. One of my favorites, these Dolce's killing it. This is my baby girl, Zoe and I keep it by my heart, so it's like actually pitted to be right there. Uh, she's my last daughter. She's my favorite, so. <laughs> and all my kids know that too, they're like, who's daddy's favorite? They're like, Zoe. Hey, yeah, that's right. I have my Lord and Lord bracelet. I have my Cartier bracelet. My running ring. And my Tissot watch, you know, for the day. Like the ins and outs of trying to get something and it's fun. Like actually it's like the hunt of it is fun. So I have my team that I get to ask them and find out if I, you know, if I can get it or, you know, if not then can we get it custom made or can we, you know, figure it out depending on how much I like it. If it's something I really like, so. We first met over the phone and I had to get his passport because a, another client of mine um, wanted him to come along on a trip that I had like VIP exclusives to. And so that's how he came along. That's how I met him. And I met him on the trip. Just to have somebody to bounce ideas off of is everything. Because uh, even a lot of times when I see something or I'll put something together and she'll see something different, but I'll get what she's saying, but I'll still like it my way and still wear it that way and she'll be mad, but it's like, the next time I'll be like, totally just do what she said because she's right. <laughs> so, so just having somebody, like I said, to bounce ideas off of is everything. And somebody you trust, there's gotta be somebody you trust, that you trust their style and uh, what they see in their vision. So that is a big piece of it. Keisha, I'm my stylist. What? Keisha's my... Creative director. Creative. Directive of everything. You said You know what? No, man. She my. You know what? Like I hate like all the labels and people trying to be like all these fake like stylists and all that. Like she like my homie that I call like 
yo, this shit, this shit dope. Like, you like this? You don't like it? Like, you know, it's like that person that be like, yo, you trust every, like, when they tell you some shit ain't it, you like, that shit ain't it. Like, it's more really like, which would make like make my heart happy. Like that make me happy. Like being having somebody like that. Like it ain't like a stylist or somebody like hey. Like that's not natural. That's not like that's not fun to me. And that's why I think I've never had one. Of them. He don't need it. One. He doesn't need it. Really. So whatever. It's like my homegirl. You know what I'm saying? And that's that shit is way more effective for me, and it's funny. You learn something every day. There's not a day go by I don't learn something different. It's like the smallest things too. Like every day is like something so small, but in the big scheme of things, it's huge because then a lot of times when I'm by myself or uh, you know I'm shopping or something, I'll see it from a different standpoint. You know, and it's really really small things. Honestly, it really is. It's really small things, and it's like being around Keisha and then being around other designers and being around like the whole world especially for these days that like it's like really packed in like you learn something every single day and it's fun like she taught me what monochromatic is like I didn't ever knew I just always like when well, you just kind of put the tones together and all the same color but different tones and she's like it's monochromatic I'm like oh, I've heard that before never knew what it meant but then when I'm shopping I'm like you know I could tell somebody a look that I'm going and I'm like oh okay yeah yeah boom Oh, well, you can do this, you can do that, you know. So, the terminology, it's a lot, like, really small things. I mean, it's not about the size, but we have, we have jackets, and they, as they come in a different sizes, for example, in the same jacket, but it's never in the, the same, same because they're all antique fabrics. Yeah. We'll, 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 I'll show you what, because I have some new that arrived this morning. I just want to enjoy it. I just want to have fun, so whatever, you know, whatever comes from that, fine. But I just want to have fun with it all. I'm not into it just to be able to make my own stuff or like crazy. I enjoy it too much. I think I don't want that headache. I got enough headaches in my real, <laughs> my real life job. So this is my passion and my fun. So I don't want any of that. I'm going in my 14th year and I'm like, still ways to get better. Just getting better every single season. Like that's always been my goal, to get better every season. You know, and to be in like the middle of you know, my prime of being like the best player I could be is still like working to get better for my team as well. And that's huge. Like you gotta like you can be really good but not good for your team. <laughs> and uh, like a lot of people won't get that, but in the NBA to win. Um, you gotta be good for your team and be able to be selfless to to give yourself up to win for the sake of the team. Like, and that's like, everybody says that. Like, it's so easy to say, like, yeah, I'm, like, no, no. Very few people do it and very pe few people get it. But um, you have to have that to be really good in this league and to win. So it's something that I, uh, I always look at and evaluate every season going in and try to get better and better every year.